morning. It's fantastic to see you all. Welcome to Bill. Microsoft has revealed Phi One, a revolutionary new artificial intelligence. This groundbreaking technology is poised to append the field of artificial intelligence and astound everyone. Get ready to explore the worlds of deep learning, robotics, and artificial intelligence like never before. So let's get started without further ado. Microsoft is at it again. Phi One, the tech giant's newest AI creation, has just been made public. The way we view deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence is about to change because of this innovative creation. Microsoft has established a new standard for intelligent systems, automation, and data science with Phi One. Let's examine more closely what makes Phi One unique. Number 1. LLM – Large Language Model Microsoft's exclusive Large Language Model, or LLM, powers Phi One. Phi One can comprehend and process human-like language with astounding precision and fluency thanks to this cutting-edge model. With LLM, Phi One is able to communicate like a human and comprehend a variety of situations. Number 2. Deep Learning and Neural Networks To improve its capacity for learning, Phi One uses cutting-edge deep learning methods and neural networks. This allows the AI to comprehend intricate patterns, form predictions, and accurately identify items. Phi One can easily perform challenging jobs and find solutions to issues because of deep learning. Number 3. Robotics Integration Robotics have been effortlessly integrated into Phi One by Microsoft, turning it into a multifaceted AI powerhouse. Phi One has the ability to operate robotic devices, carry out manual labor, and communicate intelligently with its surroundings. This combination makes a whole new realm of opportunities for automation and intelligent systems possible. Number 4. State-of-the-art automation The automation capabilities of Phi One are amazing. It can streamline processes, automate repetitive jobs, and improve workflows in a variety of sectors. Businesses may dramatically increase efficiency and productivity using Phi One's automation prowess. The technique of training vast artificial neural networks has evolved significantly since the discovery of the transformer design. Although the science behind this achievement is still in its infancy, around the same time, the transformer model came out and a feeling of order began to develop among the enormous and bewildering array of results, demonstrating that performance grows reliably as one raises either the quantity of computing or the network size, a phenomenon known as scaling laws. These scaling laws acted as a roadmap for the exploration of scale in deep learning that followed and the identification of variants in these laws led to a dramatic improvement in performance. They look into how data quality could be enhanced along an alternate axis. Better results are obtained with higher quality data. Data cleaning, for example, is an important stage in the creation of current datasets and can lead to somewhat smaller datasets or the capacity to process the data through a greater number of iterations. Recent studies using the high-quality dataset Tiny Stories, which was created artificially to teach neural networks English, showed that the advantages of high-quality data transcend far beyond this. A larger-scale model's performance may be matched by much leaner training or models by drastically changing the scaling laws, which may be made achievable by higher data quality. In this paper, writers from Microsoft Research show that high-quality data can greatly reduce the dataset size and training computation while improving the soda of large language models. Smaller models with less training are able to drastically lower the environmental cost of LLMs. Using LLMs train for coding, they create specialized Python routines from their doc strings. The latter paper's proposed evaluation standard, Human Eval, has been widely applied to evaluate LLM efficiency. By training a 1.3 billion parameter model they name Phi One, 
for around 8 passes over 7 billion tokens, a little over 50 billion total tokens viewed, followed by fine tuning on less than 200 million tokens. They show the power of high quality data to defy established scaling laws. In general, they pre-train on textbook quality data that was both artificially generated using GPT 3.5 and filtered from online sources, and they modify textbook exercise-like data. They achieve 50.6% pass at one accuracy on human eval and 55.5% pass at one accuracy on MBPP or mostly basic Python programs, which are among the best self-reported numbers using only one LLM generation. Despite being many orders of magnitude smaller than competing models in terms of dataset and model size, they demonstrate the capacity of high quality data to defy conventional scaling norms by training a 1.3 billion parameter model they call Phi-1 for roughly 8 runs over 7 billion tokens, a little over 50 billion total tokens observed, followed by fine-tuning on fewer than 200 million tokens. As stated by Microsoft, we introduce Phi-1, a new large language model for code with a significantly smaller size than competing models. Phi-1 is a transformer-based model with 1.3 billion parameters that were trained over the course of four days on an A100 with the help of web-based textbook quality data and artificially produced textbooks and exercises using GPT-3.5. Despite its small scale, Phi-1 achieves a pass precision of 50.6 on human assessment and 55 on MVP. However, the statement that Phi-1 also exhibits interesting emergent features really caught all the attention in the abstract. A smaller model with 350 million parameters trained using the same pipeline as Phi-1 and fired again before the fine-tuning stage on a dataset of programming activities nonetheless managed to obtain 45 on humans. As a result, it could seem extremely perplexing when reading the article, but when you consider that we are offered a variety of models and their sizes, it's truly shocking. You can see GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and Google's Palm, among others. Now, when looking at this particular work, one thing we obviously want to consider first is the model size. As you can see, the Fire One's model has 1.3 billion parameters whereas the GPT-4's non-relevant model is said to have 1 trillion parameters. This is based on various sources and online speculations. And we know that GPT-3.5 includes 175 billion parameters. When we compare this model to the other artificial intelligence bots on this list, we find that Wizard Coder and GPT-4 are the only other models that come even close to matching it. In comparison to GPT-4 score of 67, 51 obtained a score of 50.6 on the human eval. For those who are unfamiliar, the human eval is a benchmark for assessing how well big language models are able to produce code that solves programming problems. It consists of 164 novel programming issues that test simple mathematical formulas and language comprehension methods. Knowing what the human eval is, it is clear why a dataset with only 7 billion tokens and 1.3 billion parameters achieving a 50% on the human eval, which is only slightly better than GPT-4, is quite amazing. And what they trained it on is even more amazing. Regardless of the vast language model, certain characteristics and skills will start to stand out as we raise the parameter size. Because as you know, we cannot foresee what emergent abilities are. And because emergent abilities are essentially just what they sound like, emergent, GPT-5 is probably the most dangerous AI model in both senses. As a result, neither the kind nor the timing of these capacities is known. And this is where the adage, textbooks are all you need, genuinely applies. Your training data is crucial and high quality data is essential. 
which is why all you require are state textbooks. And what's crazy is that this is a very, very large language model, demonstrating the power of huge language models with exceptionally high quality data sets. These big language models will get a lot smaller and more effective. In essence, they sought to distinguish themselves from other huge language models trained on specific types of web-based data, such as stack overflow and code contests. These sources are not the best for instructing the model in algorithmic reasoning and planning. This is because they depend on other modules or files that are external to the snippet when training the other huge language models. Many samples are difficult to interpret without extra context. The majority of examples are trivial or boilerplate, such as setting parameters, configuring GUI elements, or defining constraints. Additionally, the examples are biased toward particular topics or use cases, which causes an uneven distribution of coding concepts and skills across the dataset. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel. Until then, bye!